continue on example 3.12. Okay, so there is a difference between this example and the previous one. So this one is given as normal distribution, mean theta variance is equals to 1. So now your unknown parameter is your mean. Okay, your mean is unknown parameter. So when you read the question, so please make sure which is your unknown parameter. Either your variance or your population mean or both. It can be both. It can be either one. Okay. So in this case, we want to show that there is no uniformly most powerful test. Okay. You have now theta equals to theta prime. Composite hypothesis is theta is unequal to theta prime. Okay. So the same thing. The first keyword you must write is let theta double prime be a number which is not equal to theta prime. Okay, because we want to use the Neyman Pearson theorem. So we must substitute some value. So you use the ratio Neyman Pearson theorem. So you have likelihood theta prime, theta double prime, the same thing. You replace uh double prime. So in this case, your sigma square is equals to one. So you can cancel out this one. So it just leaves you with this one, yeah. <coughs> okay, so you have this one. Simplify. So simplify this one. You can let's like say this one. So that's mean exponential negative summation is I squared over two. You can cancel out. So it just leave you with this term. Okay. So we will have simplify it again. Okay. So you have exponential negative theta double prime minus theta prime summation is I plus n over two theta double prime square minus theta prime square less than or equals to k. So we take ln on the both sides. So less than equals to ln k. Modify the equation, simplify, and then you can set this one as equals to c. And write down is equals to c, or you can leave like that for the time being. Okay. So in this case, we will have summation si greater or equals to n over two theta double prime square minus theta prime square over theta double prime minus theta prime. So minus ln k over theta double prime minus theta prime. Okay. So this situation, when we have summation si greater or equals to some value, okay, this one, eh? so provided that this one, okay, the set summation si greater or equals to this value, provided that your theta double prime is greater than theta prime. So when your theta double prime is greater than theta prime, yes, you have summation si greater or equals to some value of, let's say, c. Okay. And it is equivalent to summation xi less than or equal if theta double prime is less than theta prime. So that's mean your summation xi greater equals to some value provided that theta double prime greater than theta prime. And it also equivalent when you have summation xi less or equals to some value if your theta double prime less than theta prime. So the following, this one, theta double prime and also theta prime. Okay. The first of these two expressions, yeah, define the best critical region for testing theta equals to theta prime against theta equals to theta double prime, provided that theta double prime greater than theta prime. Okay, but for second expression, you know, this one, define the best critical region for theta double prime less than theta prime. So you have two choice. Yeah. So when we have this situation for two-sided test, because normally two-sided test, you will have two rejection criteria. So when we have two rejection criteria, if we use the concept for Neyman Pearson theorem to search for uniformly most powerful test, there will exist no uniformly most powerful test because one critical region cannot satisfy both condition. Okay, the punya explanation is one, yeah. The best critical region for testing the simple hypothesis against the alternative hypothesis, for example, let's say theta is equal to theta prime plus one, will not serve as the best critical region when you test, let's say, theta is equal to theta prime minus one. So that's why in this case, for two-sided test, there is no uniformly most powerful test. Okay? So when you have two-sided test, so that means there is no uniformly most powerful test since we have two critical region. 
So there is no one best critical region that can satisfy both condition. So that's why we rewrite that one. We write the statement. Again, your justification. There is no uniformly most powerful test. So uniformly most powerful test is only exist when you have your alternative greater than or less than. Okay. But for two-sided test when you have theta is unequal, we can solve to find the best critical region using the likelihood ratio test where we will discuss in our next session. Okay. So there is a way to find the best critical region for likelihood uh, for two-sided test, but we use different approach. Okay. So in this case, for you uniformly most powerful test, there is only exist for one-sided test. You can say that uniformly most powerful tests only exist for one-sided tests. 